also announced that this month is Customer Appreciation Month. And one of the things that we do here at HSN with you and HSN Cares is we hear from you and we give $1,000 every day to charities nominated by you, our customers. Today it is from Nancy Holloway. She nominated Canal Winchester Human Services. They provide assistance, including a food pantry to their local community in Ohio. Nancy says the charity is the lifeblood of our community and assists those most in need every single day. I enjoy the weekly senior lunch myself and I also donate and volunteer. This charity started back in 55 and today just the food pantry alone helps more than 1400 people. And now thanks to Nancy for letting us know about it, they will be receiving a thousand dollars from HSN Cares and you can go to hsn.com, search HSN Cares to learn more about the charities that are going to be helped this month because of you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh, my friends are on, on that monitor right there how cool in this hour we are going to be talking about lawn and garden solutions even if you have a green thumb sure you're going to want to stay tuned even if you have the furthest thing from a green thumb you're going to want to stick around and if you're concerned about keeping your carpets and floor clean not all floor mats are created equally and we're going to show you that Pete Kilcullen hello how are you I, I you were going to well. say speaking of not created equal I thought that was going to you are far superior <laughs> I understand that I understand no, that no I joke <laughs> so what makes this so different Peter it looks nice it is, but you know what's funny? So you're like, well, I wonder what makes this mat different. Well, what if you had a mat that actually did what a doormat was supposed to do? Meaning it's gonna keep all that dirt and grime and sand and grit from that on your foot from going in your house by keeping it in the mat. And I wanna show you this. So you can, it scrapes and holds, hides the dirt. We're seeing all that. Yeah. And this is a new look for us with our AstroTurf mats. Obviously, you can see the big frame around it and the welcome sign on there, which is terrific. But let me show you this. So this is all AstroTurf, which is amazing. So it's durable, it's gonna last a long time. So look at all the dirt and grime or sand on this boot. So this is great. I can wipe my feet as I'm going in the house and it's gonna do a great job at removing everything on that boot. You might be like, well, wow. Wow, Pete. Wow, Pete. <laughs> but what I want to show you is that it won't just do it once or twice. This mat is so awesome that it is going to do it hundreds of times. It's going to hide all that dirt, sand, grit. So imagine if that was just a season of the winter or the summer here in Florida, and all that sand and dirt is inside this mat. So guess where it's not? On your hardwood floor, scraping up your floors. You're not sweeping and vacuuming every day thousands of tiny little fingers grabbing at your shoes and boots and sneakers, pulling that dirt away, and then watch where the dirt goes. It goes down in between that AstroTurf and it keeps it there. So did you ever get to a mat, Siobhan, and you're kind of searching for the clean area yeah, on the mat to wipe right. your feet? Not to make things worse. Right, because you can't, you know, the mat's filthy, so it's not helping. That's not gonna happen with this because it pulls all that dirt in. So there's always a clean area to continue to clean your feet. And here are the colors. We've got the black cherry, which is so pretty. Uh, it's definitely gonna work with any wooden type of environment. You know, your floors might be hardwood, gorgeous. Sand color, obviously universal. And then we also have green. Uh, and that is sort of a classic astroturf Yeah, classic grass, look. yeah. Yeah, grassy. Now here's the thing, right? Astroturf, this is what they've been relying on in professional sports for decades, right? To help them, the durability is there. Absolutely. And then what you're gonna see, I hope your feet are never this dirty, okay? I hope your Can feet are imagine? never as dirty as what Pete is showing you. Yeah. The dog's paws, you know, the sand from the beach in your flip-flops, the kids' soccer cleats. Right. The, the, all gonna the, be wiped clean. Exactly, because the great part is, so even as all that sand and dirt's in there, look at that it's still going to do the job and you're not standing on top of that sand and dirt. It's down inside the mat and that's the big difference. That's why these, these have been so popular. But actually, I think this might be the nicest looking one that we've had yes. with the frame around. And remember, that's all rubber. It's durable. It's going to last so wet or dry. Imagine if actually, it gets really filthy. You yeah. know what you do with it at that point. Hose it you, down? You could hose it down. Hose it down. I wonder you could show dip you the it back in the pool, Siobhan. I don't want to get the pool dirty. Not that I have a pool. I'm coming over to your house. I just wanted to show you the back and how you're yeah. going to have some traction. That's going to grip the the surface really nicely. And what's better than a welcome mat? Matt? I mean, that literally says welcome. Right. <laughs> we love that part. That's why it's a great housewarming gift. But for you to keep your floor surfaces cleaner and... I didn't know this until I came to HSN. I was learning about vacuums one day. And 
when you have particles in your carpet, they act like little razor blades that oh, yeah. cut and degrade your carpet fibers. You know, now that I heard it right, it makes a lot of sense. This is going to help you with preserving your floors. It is going to help you with not having to clean as much. Yes, exactly. And the coconut fiber that we were just showing you, we're going to explain why that is just... Here, I'll put... It's a classic. I'll put a tiny bit on each one of these mats, just but a not such little a great bit. Idea. Because what happens, there's nowhere for it to go. That that cocoa one is, is a great example of where you're constantly looking for the area that's not wet and moldy and muddy and you throw it out after a single season. This is a mat that you can have for years and years because it's gonna continue to work. You're gonna be able to just empty out that sand and dirt, shake it out, rinse it out with the hose, whatever it is, but this is going to do the job. Doing what a mat was made to do. Get all the dirt off your feet so the dirt's not in the house. And this is doing exactly that. It's a great example. The mat Look that fulfills that. its destiny. It is. I would do it's one destiny. front door, back door, and definitely from the garage inside. If you don't have a mudroom, if you do have a mudroom, it needs to be there too. But that whole, any threshold, <laughs> yeah, exactly. any threshold. No, you're absolutely right. We don't always have these too. It's more of a seasonal product. So yeah. we're very glad that you're here for it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I always appreciate it. It was always fun. <laughs> you're you're gonna have so much fun even testing it yourself. Putting right. Stuff in there. See how much dirt. Yeah. Thank you. I want to talk to you about something that we had earlier today that was so popular. It's the three-tiered standing planter. That's only thirty-nine dollars, and we have it in black. This is what it could look like at your place. It is a super heavy-duty plastic. Which now, before you say plastic, yuck. It means that it's manageable. It also means that it's not going to rust. It's not going to chip. It's not going to degrade. The impact for this is maxed out. And you could even just put inexpensive plants in there. Heck, you could put silks if you wanted to, depending on your situation. And it could be indoors. It could be outdoors. So black is, oh, pretty. Black is the color that we have for you. And I just think right by the front door, lanai teeny tiny little baby patio front step this one is a winner for sure which is why it's almost totally gone 1200 went already today all right we're going to talk about a classic and the reason why this next product is so long lasting in terms of being a favorite is because it works. This is Spray and Grow. And Spray and Grow is a vitamin for your plants. It's not a fertilizer, it is a vitamin. And the results you all have been sending in your pictures because you've been so impressed with and so delighted. We have a 32 ounce liquid, liquid micronutrient, right? Think of it as a vitamin, um, complex for your plants. And it's two flex payment at $16.98. We have the uh, sprayers as well. And we're gonna talk to Carrie Mobley <laughs> about this busy mom and yes. avid gardener hi hi we get to talk about spring grub so i love it i love it oh my gosh this is the secret weapon for gardeners all over america and beyond if you walk by somebody's house and you think to yourself man are they a master gardener do they know what they're right. doing chances are pretty good they're using spray and grow people ask me all the time what exactly is spray and grow well what it is is vitamins for your plants it's 17 micronutrients that you spray right on to the leaves. It's all natural, it's non-toxic, so it's safe around you, your pets, your kids, grandkids, and it's gonna work on anything that's green and grows. And it's been scientifically proven to work on literally hundreds of plants. It's really, really easy to use, it's a concentrate. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two teaspoons and you're gonna mix it into any household sprayer that you have, right? Anything, just rinse it out really well, and you're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes, and all of those micronutrients are gonna activate, and you want to see how easy it is? Yes. Once every two weeks, you're going to do this. You know, when you're talking to the plants, when you're singing to them, once every that's, two weeks, they, whether they it. need it or not, that's it. And let me tell you, what you're going to get is more, bigger, and better. You will never, ever, ever get anything into your yard, onto your flowers, onto your plants, your fruits and vegetables that will give you the results that Spray and Grow does. And it is guaranteed. So this is what it does. It soaks into these little pores on a plant called the stomata. And the stomata works with something called foliar feeding. It's up to 10 times more effective than feeding through the root. But again, this is not a fertilizer. So there's nothing like, uh, there's nothing else like it on the market or anywhere. And you can only get it here on HSN or at sprayandgrow.com. So I want to show you, first of all, before I start showing you these, we have had 
thousands of customers send in pictures. We didn't even ask for them. Right. Unsolicited, just Unsolicited. like, you guys, this works. You have to see my tomato plant. When was the last time you were so impressed with a product that you sent in a picture? So check this out. This is looking like a bed and breakfast. Isn't but this it? is just Cindy and Don from Indiana. I couldn't believe it. I had so many beautiful blooms. This was my third year using Spray and Grow. Thanks for a wonderful, safe product and again this is a basil plant a basil and this is from caesar in pennsylvania he says i've been using spray and grow for 15 years and i love it check out the size Whoa. of this basil plant it actually intensifies the sugar content in your fruits and vegetables mm. so they're going to be sweeter they're going to taste better your flowers are going to look healthier hanging plants indoor plants, fruits, vegetables, you name it. Look at these hydrangeas, my absolute favorite flower. Have you ever in your life seen a hydrangea plant Oops. with this many blooms? You will get this with Spray and Grow, and there's no risk, zero risk, right. because we offer a bottom of the bottle guarantee. This is one stem. Unbelievable. One stem with all of these tomatoes. And again, you can use the entire bottle. And if it's not everything that we said it was, send, send it, back. it back and we'll send give you back. a free refund. But I bet your bottom dollar oh. that you will not because you're going to get results like, like this. That. Look at this. Really, you could do your own test. Did a little basil plant, 99 cents. Spray it with spray and grow. Let the other one just be the way you would normally care for it. Whether it's roses or it's basil or spices on the kitchen counter, Oh my goodness, that African violet. Isn't this gorgeous? What a stunner. And I understand why our customers would want to do a test. It's like, yeah. oh, is this a placebo effect? Is it really working? Mm -hmm. So they'll buy two plants. They'll do the exact same thing, the same amount of sunlight, the same amount of water. They'll do everything the same. And the only difference is spray and grow. This is pretty, right? It's a nice little yeah, house plant. Yeah, it looks good. But what spray and grow does is it's going to bring your plant to its full potential. That's what our researchers, it was actually Bill Muskoff, the researcher, the, the, the chemist who designed it, realized that that's exactly what plants needed. They needed those micronutrients. And so again, we've got a couple of different size options for you. Um, and so I'm just going to show you that real quick if I can. The 32 ounce is going to get you about 96 servings. Now remember, this is a concentrate. So this will last you the rest of this season. Oh yeah. And it most certainly is going to last you most of next season as well and it never expires right so get it while you can right. now the other option is going to be the gallon boy. exactly it's in the last years 384 servings so to speak and if you're only using it once every two weeks we're talking years Absolutely. years get it while you can we sell we out don't every year have this yep. size so this is another seasonal item we brought in for that gallon size um, this is how it works you just pour water into the sprayer and we have the information for you about how the number for picking up that sprayer because it's really nice you don't have to pump and it's automated with your little batteries it's absolutely to me the most effortless you're not hauling out the the, the <sighs> fertilizer you know, bags the, and right, the chemicals and hoping, like did it get on the root honey can you see if that little bead got on the root i know right now this is, well and you know fertilizer's great but this is different yes there's this nothing is, like it for your ornamentals. This is for that rose bush that is temperamental. This is your pride and joy, right? The, the different gardenia bushes, whatever it is. And you know, we go and we look. How's the bush doing? How's that, how are those daisies doing? And when I, I walk in the house and I go, honey, the rose is blooming, right? Oh, it's so exciting. The, the results are really fast too. I have to tell you, sometimes just in a matter of days, you're seeing new growth, you're seeing new buds. Um, again, one of the things that I notice and I love to talk about this while I show you some more pictures, I have about you know 15 or so fruit trees at my house oh. and I have been spraying them with spray and grow for years and years. What I really started to notice was the so I know, look. Look at these. Thank you for Orchids. showing that. They're so hard to grow too, but this is going to give you that. This is going to be the difference. You're going to have the house that people stop and say, are you, are you a master gardener? Are you like, a competitive gardener? And you don't have to tell them. <laughs> Your secret is safe with us because, listen, I love you too because I want everybody in the world to realize how special spray and grow is, but it can be your, your little secret because gardening is competitive. Look at this. This looks like it's at a park. I mean, these are people's houses. Oh my This goodness. is a human woman a human woman a human Can woman you believe that this is a rhododendron plant and, and <laughs> oh, listen gorgeous. i know a lot of you guys don't even have any green right because what we right. say is anything that's green and grows you can spray it on the sticks you can spray it on the bark on the tree on the, the twigs. twigs and as soon as you get that first burst oh my gosh 
it's going to be the most amazing thing. You're going to get that more, that bigger, that better. Look at all the tomatoes on this plant. Really unbelievable. This is from Leslie in California. She said, enclosed is an example of my beautiful tomatoes. Every plant was full. Amazing. Roses. You will not even believe. I have a rose garden, and roses are really, really difficult to grow, they especially are. in Florida. And begonias. How about this? How about even hanging baskets? House plants. There is nothing that... I never even finished my story. What? About the fruit trees. Oh, yeah. The area underneath my fruit trees, the grass was more lush. It was richer. Mm. It was deeper in color. And so anytime I'm done with, you know, I've worked my way around right. all of my plants, Super. I'll spray the leftover on my grass. Yes, I have the most beautiful grass. Yes, people stop at my house. And yes, it is all because of spray and grow. I cannot recommend this product enough. And remember, it is guaranteed, so there is no risk. It's non-toxic. It's safe for all plants. And the results are un undeniable Phenomenal. we've got an update there are only 40 left in something produced in the gallon size well i'm not surprised because you stock up on that every single time we bring it in so that's the final call 40 left in the gallon size of your spray and grow we have your 32 ounce which is over 90 servings we call every quart a serving so you're gonna be able to put those two teaspoons in and really spray so much and a little goes a long way even with the spring yes this it's is a concentrate this is, it's a concentrate yep. this is garden of the month and sign that deserves to be in that person's front yard. And if, and if any of you guys know about plants, these are not expensive plants. These are no. impatience. There might be some petunias in there. We have some hanging baskets. Use them on your shrubs. Use them on your annuals. Use them on your perennials. There is nothing that you can't use it on. You can't overuse it, so you're not going <laughs> to damage your plants. They'll take in what they need using that foliar feeding, which again, Farmers have been using foliar feeding for decades and decades because they realize it's more effective than feeding through the roots. So just keep that in mind. This is scientifically proven. It has changed my life as a gardener. I'm sure. And I cannot recommend it highly enough. Check out these blueberries. And remember, tomatoes, blueberries, all of your fruits, it actually intensifies the sugar content. Look at this. This started off as just one plant. One plant, she said. My husband, Ken, grew the flowers using your spray and grow. One plant. Many people ask him what his secret was. I wonder if he told. I wonder <laughs> if he told. So I'm just going to, again, show you real quick. What it does is it intensifies the sugar content. So not only are you going to get more, but you're going to get be better and you're going to get bigger. And homegrown is so delicious. If you're not a gardener, but it's something that you've always wanted to get into, I really, really, really recommend doing it with fresh herbs because not only is it easy to do, um, it responds really, really well well to spray and grow and then if you're making a recipe you can go out to your own little garden and snip off some basil and bring it in and chop it in you'll be so proud of yourself and it just might inspire you to become a master gardener that you know you've always wanted to be in your mind check out these beautiful beautiful peonies these are stunning and again i mean okay. the options are endless fruits vegetables Ugh, flowers spectacular. shrubs trees there is just this no is, end this is the commercial gardener's secret and by the way the gallon is the gallon gone okay so we're gonna call if you're on the line for the gallon chances are maybe oh i'm sorry uh put yourself on wait list for the gallon however get the 32 ounce for sure so before those are gone too here's your chance to have that that showpiece even if it's one plant that you've had your eye on and you're like i have a plant in my house that my mother planted at our other house over 30 years ago carrie Aww. it's a plumeria <gasps> Is I love plumerias. I love plumerias. Yes. That's Those the, are the Hawaiian lay flowers. The Hawaiian lay yep. flowers. Yep. And it, it usually looks like a twig, right, until it blooms, and then it's astonishing. Spray, I think spray and grow saved it. Oh. That's my personal opinion, because I'm, you know, not a You don't have to tell me. But, yeah. Yeah. That plant was really important to me. My mother planted that at our old house. And I brought it to this house, hoping and praying, and it has done beautifully. Had a little stress. Of course. As it would. Of but, course. But spray and grow to the rescue. But think about it. I mean, just like you take vitamins, right? This is vitamins for your plants. And I love that we have a little insert that we put in here. Um, and it's going to tell you all about what you're going to look for. It's going to show you how to make it. Again, you're going to mix it with warm water in either one of the household sprayers that you rinse out really well. Or also remember, we have a couple of these power sprayers here. One is the big one if you've got a nice big piece of property. Sure. But if you don't want to be spraying all day because your fingers hurt, we've got a couple of great options for you at a really great price. 
price. Um, but it's going to sit for about 15 minutes and you're going to notice a color change. And that's those micronutrients activated. You're going to spray it right on the leaves of the plant, right on the fruits, right on the vegetables, right on the sticks. And it's going to soak it up and you are going to get more, bigger and better. How much more? How much bigger? How much better? We guarantee, we guarantee it to the bottom of the bottle that you're going to get the kind of results that are make, going to make you want to use it again and again and again. And I'm people, so proud to be a part of this company. It, it's something that I can see why. It's something that people are extremely loyal to and will look high and low for it. And they'll only find it here and they'll only fly, find it at the Spray and Grow website. We're giving it to you on FlexPay. We also have the possibility of this cool sprayer, which is the gallon size. It's $29.95 that I've been using. Uh, or you can use the one that's the 32 ounce yeah, size. Yeah, this one is the quart. We're calling this the, the quart, quart sprayer. Mm -hmm. But if you have been discouraged in the past, okay, if you have been bummed out, given it up, thought that this was for everybody else oh well you know where's camera four hi <laughs> thank you hey how you doing there's a three on that camera just for the Fair, record good point <laughs> just for the record oh there you are oh Jim. so anyway the bottom line is if you've given it up come on back communing with nature is so powerful think about how much fun you're going to have showing off your plants even if it's your house plants and that sense of accomplishment this is just one of the, one of those most rewarding experiences, as you know, if you've ever done any gardening. But I know it's still cold in lots of places. True, which is okay. It's okay. It is, because again, like I said, when I say spray it on anything that's green and grows, it doesn't even have to be green right now. Just know that it's coming. I promise you, it's been a miserable, miserable winter. I'm from Michigan, I know. You know. But just remember that it is coming, and you're going to have that secret weapon. People say to me all the time, I can't grow anything. I have a brown thumb. This... Spray and grow yeah. is green thumb in a bottle. It is. As long as you're watering your plants, right, and you're putting plants that belong in full sun and full sun and not, not, all you need is a little sprayer and this amazing product, which is spray and grow. And again, I could go on and on with these pictures. Well, thank you, by the way, for sending those in because it's so important to us. We love looking at them and sharing them. I know we have to wrap this up, but I will let you know. It, don't, don't go anywhere, by the way, okay, because it's very busy, and I want to make sure you get this in this order. Okay, HSN gift cards. You know, those are great all the time, but certainly Mom's Day is around the corner. You could get this personalized with her name and a custom message, just like sending flowers, only better. <laughs> you could have it sent directly to her house. We've got more coming up and Carrie's going to show us lots of ideas for making the garden and the art beautiful. Don't miss a thing with our HSN app, available on Apple and Android devices. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Shop faster than ever with exclusive new product videos, only on the iPhone. Watch HSN Live anytime, anyplace. And the new shop and search features make finding your favorites easier than ever. Search app on hsn.com to download. I love Jewelry Host Pick. First of all, it's an entire day of celebrating jewelry. We get to pick from any brand we want. We get to work with some of our favorite people and we get to help design collections. I had so much fun putting my Jewelry Host Pick show together. A beautiful piece of jewelry is the easiest way to transform the way you feel and the way you present yourself to the world. All day today and shop the whole collection now at hsn.com. to shine look at this impact what we have is something very creative for you it is the fieldsmith solar powered hydrangea they're garden stakes guys these are ornamentals for your yard that don't require any watering and it mm -hmm. is glow there's glow to it we're going to show you how this works uh, but know that we have two we have the, the cascading, the cascading one, one right that you're yep. seeing and then we have the more classical sort of ball yeah. shape of the hydrangeas first of all i love this as a gifty oh. it's a beautiful gift idea yes how and about then, even a gift for yourself please thank you right and, and thank you <laughs> right absolutely uh, and then if you don't have a lot of color in your yard or you're waiting for the snow drops to come through right if you're waiting for any, anything to bloom, and you might be waiting a long time. Snow in Minnesota, I heard. 
Mm. <laughs> Thinking of you. This is your answer. <laughs> this is for you, yes. Oh. So we have, like you said, there are two different varieties. What I love, by the way, hydrangeas are my absolute favorite flowers of all time. Um, I am from Michigan, and unfortunately, being down here in Florida now, I cannot grow hydrangeas. Yeah. When I got this, I was about as happy as a woman could be because now I get to have that beautiful hydrangea, which looks so beautiful and ethereal, but at night, just because of the power of the sun, every single one of these little flowers that make up this um, hydrangea glows. And it's a nice, substantial glow. It is beautiful, it is special, and again, it's beautiful during the day. So it's almost like the icing on the cake because you don't need to have any batteries. This is all powered by the sun. You can see, yeah, exactly. So we have it in a stake, right? So all you have to do is pop it right into the ground and it will do the work for you. Um, it's, it's special, and again, let's talk about the colors real quick, um, because in the ones that we have um, that are the mm -hmm. kind of the traditional, we have the yellow, mm -hmm. the purple, this, of course, is the blue. This is kind of self-explanatory, isn't uh, it? I would but say it's still, straightforward. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. And then this is then the, pink. the pink. I actually have the blue at my house. I highly recommend it. But you know what? I think they're all beautiful. And then with the cascading one, what I like is that, obviously, this is not the way a true hydrangea grows. And I think that that's almost what makes it like a fairy tale, yes. right? Like, um, like it's, it's almost like a fantasy. It's like a total fantasy. Right? Like if it's we like were an in enchanted garden. Total Totally right in a, in a, Ooh, in a planet that, that we've never been to before and you're like why don't we have Ooh. these on earth well now we do they're stunning and again they're not we we took the bottom stake off but okay. we do have a shot behind us I show where you, you can that. kind of get the height um, of how tall they are and also it'll show you here how you take this little guy this little disc right here and you go flat with it so that that's how the Sun gets collected is in, and you can angle this into this little solar solar pod right here. Isn't that cool? Guys, this is very inventive. And I don't know, well, the bottom line is you don't have to see it, but at night, it's gonna glow. Yeah, we have some great video that shows what it looks like at night. And I will say, you know, I've been doing solar products here at HSN for many years. Even in the last couple of years, even in the last year, technology with solar power has improved dramatically. All you need is about two hours now of full sun on this, and you are gonna get four solid hours of glow out of these. And you can place them anywhere you want. We, you know, we were talking earlier about not everybody enjoys gardening, so to speak, yeah, but everybody too. likes to have something special on their property, something that feels like spring, something that makes it feel different than winter, something that feels alive and special. The and renewal. The, oh, I right? love spring. I love planting my garden. But there are a couple of places where things don't grow as well. That's exactly where I have these. It's just kind of, either it's not getting enough sunlight over there, or maybe the soil up. is too acidic, whatever right. it is. I pop these in all I have to do is actually nothing <laughs> it does it all on its own as soon as it becomes dusk yeah the beauty is it turns on all by itself automatically and it's just it's such a gift I mean it's one of those things where people walk by yeah. and they'll stop and take a picture of it even during the day and when they come by during the day and I see them taking pictures, I always want to say, you should come back at night because you're not it's even, even going to believe what's going to happen. It's yes. even better. Look, guys, this, this is the way you could do that. You could clump them all together, too, and almost make it look like a bush, right? Or maybe you could do a line of pink ones. Oh, my gosh. How about lining your sidewalk? How love, gorgeous would that be? That. Just along the sidewalk? Now, I will tell you, I love the variety of colors. So if I were going to get four of them to line, I probably would get one of each color. Very but to each looking. their own? Yeah. yeah. Look at those. Okay, if you're interested in something really, really different that is absolutely gorgeous and super easy, we just found it for you. It's brand new here from Fieldsmith. They do such a beautiful job with all of these inventive ideas. Yeah, and we don't yard. have to water it either. Bonus. Bonus. <laughs> you don't have to trim it. Speaking of trimming it, I wanted to let you know about an alternative to a crew that comes in and mows and goes. Do you know about those? A mow and go. <laughs> they, <laughs> you know, they're
you're there for five minutes and you're like, oh my gosh, well, they did a good, you know, they cut the yard, but that was a lot of money. Do it yourself with Earthwise. It's the 18 inch real push mower with a grass catcher. It's a today special too. And there's no shipping on this. It's four flex payments of $24.99. And it really empowers you to be able to take care of a big job or a little job all by yourself with an easy, very nice, large, sort of an all-terrain set of wheels on it. And it's a specialty price for a very limited time. But look, no gas, no gas, no guessing, no gas, no fumes. And it does such a great job of getting that yard, that lawn looking fantastic. Ooh. And, and on demand, right? You don't have to wait until it's their day to come right? Yes. You can do it yourself easily. Okay. One of my favorite things. Mm. I love this item. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Outdoors. What do we want to do? We want to bring beauty. We want to bring impact. That's curb appeal, but also enjoyment for your own eyes. Yes. This is the Fieldsmith set of two hanging planter baskets. I have three of these, actually four at my house in pink. They're fabulous. And it's a 10 inch or a 15 inch. And if you're wondering, wait, what? Aren't all hanging baskets created the same? Actually, no. We have a better one for you because you're gonna get, think about a, if you know what a strawberry planter looks like. Mm -hmm. They're like a tower and they have places on the side where you can put your strawberries. How about that for your hanging plants? Right. For your flowers? For your ferns, your greenery, we'll show you. We'll show I you. do. I, I have so much to tell you. Okay, okay. Go. I love hanging baskets because not everybody has a lot of space to cut out, you know, an area of their yard. But this is what we end up with. They dry out really quickly. They're just kind of popping out the top, and if you ignore them for just a couple of days, it's like they're dying. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I would much rather have this. These are our baskets. You're getting 360 degrees of flowers and what it is, is it's ingenious in keeping these plants alive and I'm going to tell you why. Plants need three very important things okay. to survive. Okay? okay. One of them is water. Good idea. With baskets, right? They dry out so quickly. Well, we made sure that we have a one inch trough in the bottom that's gonna hold additional water. This is gonna give you a little wiggle room so now you're not a slave to the water. The other thing it needs is air. It needs oxygen in there to take care of those roots. All of these little doors and windows are not only meant to have the plants coming out everywhere, and I am going to plant it in just a second, but it's also allowing the air and the oxygen to get in there. And the other thing it needs is nutrients. The best part about this is as I plant it, all of the roots are going to be right here in the middle. So if I treat it with spray and grow, if I water it, I just have to do it right here in the center and everything is going to be taken care of. Now you're going to get two of them. The big one is about 15 inches. It's called the ultimate. And then we'll the little one, which, which is mini, so to speak, um, is it's about 10 size. inches. It really is. So it's I'm just going to get planting while you okay. maybe talk about colors. Okay. Or we, have, uh, we have the 10 inch, which holds up to 17 plants. So that's what we're calling the mini. 12 plants fit on the sides, five plants fit on the top. It includes your hook and your chain. Super easy. Hang, or you could even place it on a tabletop. It'd be an amazing centerpiece for your picnics and your barbecues. And and then I'll show you a picture of the colors. By the way, in the 10 inch, we have either black or terracotta. And then in the 15 inch, we have white, we have black, and we have terracotta. And turquoise. There are 130 left in that turquoise. So, so the thing is, they're gonna fill in so in depth that you won't even notice what the color is. That's it's a good point. pretty yeah. for the first couple of weeks, but I love being able to plant. I love getting my hands dirty. So with this, it's really easy. You're just gonna take a plant and you're gonna go from the outside in. These are the planters that if you go to like those beautiful resorts in Key West or in Miami, they're using my planters because they give you a big bang for a little buck. So what I like to do is I like to go to the nursery or to the garden center and I just get a bunch of plants. I pick it out kind of like I'm picking out produce at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Whatever looks good, whatever is healthy. One of the best things about this, Siobhan, is that you can't have a wrong answer. Just the different varieties of plants, the different textures. These aren't not, these aren't expensive plants. I mean, at no. the most, this table costs like maybe 20, 20 yeah. bucks in flowers. The 99 and I'm not sensors. even going to use all of them. And then you just kind of work them in. I, I don't like them hanging up too high, so what I do is I'll just take off the bottom roots. And then all I have to oh. do is just dig it right in okay. here. 
and I just keep layering plants, as many as I can fit in here. And eventually, as I keep doing this, you're gonna see that it's gonna fill in you can even add fresh herbs in there. I was going to say, this would be a How great herb How fun would garden. that be? And then again, just like with the spray and grow, right, you can come out and it's going to serve two purposes. It's going to look beautiful, but you can come out and pick your own herbs. You can use it with succulents too. A lot of people are like, oh, I love the idea of succulents, but I don't really know what to do with them. What a great way to do succulents. And they require even less water. So knock yourself out with that. Yeah, you can't go wrong there. If you, you know, I would love to have hanging baskets at my house, sort of like a, you know, a Southern patio type oh, look, yes. right? Or those resorts you were talking about. And I tried and unfortunately I did fail. But <laughs> that's why I bought these because I realized it was a better basket. It was a smarter idea. And you're gonna be able to get so much impact once again from this. And by the way, get the family involved. This is a quick, easy project for an afternoon. It doesn't take a long time at all. And oh, you just- thank you. It's yeah, true. Well, yeah, here you go. One. So with this you one, do it on top? yeah, I there think so. Exactly. And again, there's no wrong way to do this. There Just know go. with the windows on the little basket, yeah. a lot of the plants that you get, the um, the little dirt that they come in the might be ball. too big. Yeah, okay. exactly. You just have to break it apart a little bit. Easy. People don't realize how hardy plants are. They will come back. They will survive. They want to live. And so as long as you give them some water, um, they're, they're going to be just fine. And over the course of the next gosh, I would say couple of weeks, you're gonna see such incredible growth. Now I wanna show you this. A couple of minutes ago, this was nothing but just a half empty basket. Look what I created. That was right? fast. And how easy was this? Look at how gorgeous, and it's gonna come with hangers. You can hang it, and, or like you said, I mean, put it on a tabletop, that's perfectly fine too. And you can see all you need is a little potting soil, and you just start building it. I know, it gets, I love getting my hands dirty. I do too. I, I really do, I love gardening, it's what I do for a living, and I, I realize that not everybody has the time or the space, and that's why these baskets are so incredible, because it's a small amount of space, with a really big impact. I wanna bring you um, back here again and show you. Look. This is the ultimate, right? So this is the 15 inch. Look, Look at, at the that. way it's just dripping with All flowers and foliage. All different That's kinds. Incredible. This, this looks That's like you are a professional gardener. It looks like you paid $100 you for this. They plant service that comes in and takes care of your plants exactly. every week. Exactly, and really all you have to do is just water it up here. Check this That's out. The this is the mini. Yeah. Look at the impact that you get with this. And flowers make you feel good. They, they, they're a pleasure to be around. And I just pick out anything. I like different pieces of color. I like different textures. Oh, natural. Oh, I love it. There's a couple of them that I have that don't have any flowers that it's just full. And look at this. I mean, you could even do fresh herbs in here and have it hanging. I mean, I have just fallen in love with this in because love with it's too. so easy to do. I'm going to come over here okay. and build this one. Okay. Come on over. So this is something that my husband and I actually did together. We went to the store, we were the, you know, big box store. We grabbed a bunch of plants and we spent less than an hour mm -hmm. setting them all up and we're enjoying them. The water stays in there really nicely because of that one inch trough and the reward is big. By the way, the, you could do these indoors with the pathos and all those nice indoor plants that are Great so famous idea. for keeping the air clean, some ferns, no problem. And what a great gift. What a wonderful right? gift. And it's something you can do together. You know, a lot of times if you live, whoopsie, I'm making a mess. If you live in a condo or an apartment and you don't necessarily have the space, but you want something that is gonna be special when people come over and they're like, oh my gosh, where did you get that? You can tell them that you got it from here, but they're gonna think that you are a professional gardener for sure. And all it's gonna need is water. And remember, we're just gonna go from the outside in and we just tuck it in there nicely. And again, we're just going to take our little window and we're going to pop it into place. And people ask me all the time, doesn't the soil come out? Absolutely not. These roots are holding on so tightly to that soil that we don't have to worry about that. And then you just start filling it in. There is no wrong way to do this. Whatever looks good, whatever smells good, whatever makes you feel good. For me, gardening is nostalgic. It reminds me of my mom. That's why I got into it. She was an amazing gardener and my dad was a master gardener. So it's kind of in my blood, but I love to be able to bring this gift 
gift to other people because everybody wants to do something, but not everybody knows how. This almost sets itself up. You can just see, just plop it in here. So go to the nursery, go to that big box store, get some plants that you really like, and then just sit down with a bag of dirt and go to town. There really is no wrong way to do this. So again, we've got different colors and you are gonna get two of them. Check this out, now it's done. It looks beautiful, I love it. And as time goes on, it's gonna be dripping off the bottom. This is 360 degrees of flowers. It's going to just be something that people are gonna stop and say, I gotta, where'd you get that? I gotta get one of those. And we only have them here. So again, we've got a, a wonderful selection of colors, but if you check out what I have behind me, you'll realize very quickly that eventually the color probably won't matter, except that year after year, you will uh, get to replant it again because it most certainly will last you forever and ever. So in the ultimate, which is the 15 inch, you have your choice of the terracotta, uh, the turquoise, which I am obsessed with. I think it's beautiful. We have the black and the white. And then in the mini, which is not quite so mini, um, we have the terracotta and the black. And remember, you're gonna get two of them. They're gonna come with the chains. And again, it's the design of it that it's so special. This water trough in there to give you that extra time in case you don't get to water it every day. And then all of these windows, it just sets you up for success in a small place. And I am just hoping that everybody who is getting them today is gonna love them as much as I do. So I'll come back over here and just plant the last couple things while we've got Siobhan heading inside to take care of a couple of other things. But I know it seems like a really long, brutal winter, and it was, but it's almost over. And I just wanna set you guys up for success um, in your gardening ventures this spring. So Siobhan, I see you're inside with my beautiful friend, Rebecca. How are you guys? Hi. Thank you so much, Carrie. Beautiful job. <laughs> Happy Customer Appreciation Month, everybody. Rebecca Woods is with me. Hi. Hi, we're gonna be talking about these beautiful light stands, light posts, but before we do that, we have 280 of these. And I just wanted to share this with you because Rebecca loves beautiful things. I love flowers. Love flowers. And, color. and she's here to help me talk about this. These are absolutely stunning. Even if you have the tiniest little space, if you want that burst of color in your yard, which is the number one thing you want to add if you want to up that curb appeal, these three tiered planters are the way to go. They are absolutely beautiful. And even if you don't have a green thumb, they're perfect for you because they come fail safe. They've got these drainage holes in each level so you can never overwater them. Oh, yeah. Because you don't want your root ball system sitting in that saturated soil so the water even if they get even if you have a downpour of rain it will go through each different tier until it runs out so uh, it's fail safe but this is so beautiful if you live in a condo if you live in an apartment you're going to still get that same amount of color but you're planning up instead of out so these went, they were hugely popular this morning. Now 1,300 gone. Gone, Yeah, gone. And this is the last of the order. Uh, I definitely, I mean, there's so much, it's so fun, because there's so much so buzz much about fun. this. And, and like, you could do a garden a planter this, like, if a planter's a planter? No, it's not. No, that's no, it different. No, not to be. And it's weather resistant, so indoor, outdoor, and it's got, uh, made of really durable um, plastic uh, that is perfect for this, because it's not gonna rust or corrode. So for years, you're gonna be able to enjoy either, we have the black, black or the only. Black oh, only. black only. Black Sorry. only. Black only. <laughs> but remember, if you put a lot of plants in there, they're not going to be looking at that. They're going to be looking stunning, at the plants. But it's got the embossed detail. It really, really is pretty. But so are these. I mean, these. Dim oh. all the lights, sweet darling. Because we are going to show you something that is a breakthrough. And I love it when technology moves forward and then it makes our house prettier, right? Or yes, our yard yes. prettier. This is the flickering flame solar lamp post that will be the perfect place to of course, have outside as a beacon of light in your home, but also hang your birdhouse or your planter. That looks incredibly realistic, Isn't by the way. Isn't it stunning? It really is. And I have always been one, when I've visited places like Savannah, yeah. maybe New Orleans, even San Diego, the gas lamp district, I wanted those in my yard, but it was impossible. Because I would actually have to hire somebody to come out dig out your yard. Not practical. No, lay the gas lines. It's just not possible. Well, now it is. Now it is, and not only that, it's solar powered. So once I hit that on button, I don't even have to remember to turn it on because the sun is doing all of the work for me. And honestly, the only way to describe this is absolutely stunning. I put this out, 
And that night when my neighbors, I could tell they were either walking, I was getting texts from all of my neighbors, where did you get that? Really? Where did you get that? Yes, not immediately, immediately. I'm not surprised. It is very special. It really is. And today we have them for you at a special price, right? Our HSN price is always so fantastic. And on FlexPay, five of them. So it stands over seven feet tall. So it's perfect. No matter, I mean, that's that's the right height for it. And that there's that durable ABS. And that's the kind of material that you want because again, you know, a lot of times if you're going with something that is a steel or a metal, it's going to corrode, mm -hmm. it's going to rust. They're so heavy that you can't possibly move them around from place to place. Totally mobile. This is totally mobile. And um, so this is a great material that's going to withstand no matter what mother nature throws at it. We're going to tell you to do two things okay. when you get this. First of all, it took me less than 10 minutes to build this, top to bottom, that is it. But when we start at the bottom here, you can see we have a nine gallon planter. And what that. we're gonna suggest that you do is fill the bottom of this with some river rock How or some cute. stones for two reasons. One, it's going to really hold it in place and give it oh, some stability. Sure. But two, if you plant this with flowers, that again is gonna give those roots some drainage so it's not sitting in that water. But because this can be out all year long, we wanted to show you that it's not just for flowers. We created a little fairy That's village. so cute. How much fun would this be with the kids? I or with the it. grandkids, but you could do whatever you wanted. Come New Year's, you could actually even put, you know, some hats in here, some of the party hats and Christmas some glitter. Time. It's gonna Christmas be time or ornaments. Uh, maybe, maybe for um, Thanksgiving, a cornucopia. I the, mean, this is really <laughs> easy and powerful once again. And I love that we have our hanging baskets right up here. So. <laughs> this, the, seriously, oopsie, oh, a little fun. A little fairy. fairy. Sorry, I can take guys. care of her. No, no, I got it. Oh, there, <laughs> there you go, go sweetie. Perfect. So, you know, you don't have to have the electrician come out, is the bottom line. You can move it as you want to. It creates so much charm and so much, I think, there's a glamour to it as well. It's a statement piece. Yeah. So if you were to take and talk to a professional landscaper, they're going to tell you two things that you want to add to your your yard for that perfect curb appeal. One is color and the other is light. Those are the two most important elements and you're getting both. And not only are you getting both, you're getting them at different levels. So it's going to draw the eye up. Like if you put this next to your house, it draws it into the entryway of your house. You could have this flanking your driveway. That'd be fabulous. How inviting would that be for your guest and your family? But then say you want to party. So you want to create a beautiful little sitting area. You can move yeah. them create that for the right. party, and then move them back when you're ready to. It's answered all of the irritating parts about why we don't have light. Exactly. Right? In, in, our, in our yards. You may already have a planter, but how about you know, really going and upgrading? Because now you have the planter on the bottom, you have hanging plants, wind chime up there would be great. You could get some of those little garden flags, you know, that have oh, hummingbirds on yes, them. Yes, that would be beautiful. Look at the light that it gives off. It really is that candlelight, carriage light. It is, it feels like a Charles Dickens movie. It really or, does. Or book. You're walking through a Charles Dickens book. And what I love about this is again, there's an on off button, but as soon as you turn that on, this is going to go off every single night. It's gonna go on and stay on through the night. In fact, my favorite review is every time I go to work at 5.30 in the morning, it's still on. Oh, I nice. love that, so it stays on throughout the night. We've got this frosted panels, so it really has kind of a vintage feel. This hanging rack that we have right here, that's removable. You can have it on or not. I love it because it just adds more um, beauty to the entire piece. It adds more statement. But with that seven foot tall, Nobody's ever going to know that that's a solar. They're never going to see the panels on top. They're never going to really think about it. They're no, just going to be like, right. oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah. I feel like we're in a theme park, kind of, you know, where yeah. they create this magical wonderland for you. I'm really excited about putting a garland around it at Christmas time with some little white twinkle lights. Oh. There's just so many possibilities. But here's the thing we love bringing you in a lot of quantity and things. This is not one we could bring in a ton of quantity in. So if you're interested, this is one, if you can't afford it, I would think about getting two. So you could do the flank right. on either side. Symmetry, some balance. Yeah. yeah, and once you get one, you're going to wish you had another one. That's just all there is to it. I, that's, look at how fantastic her porch looks. And you know what, I wanna tell you that I have mine right under the overhang of my porch and it still gets enough sun to turn off or oh. turn on every single night. So I love that. Oh, look outside. 
Let's see. This is a, we have this actually set out. So you've got the wind chimes, you can put the bird feeder, flowers, however you want to decorate it, you can make it perfect for your yard. And you know, a lot of times we, we invest in these statement pieces for our yard and you can only enjoy them in spring and summer. Mm -hmm. I hate that. Not only that, you have to find somewhere to store them. True. That's not the case. You can keep this out year round and enjoy it. 365. By the way, you don't even have to plant the bottom if you wanted to. You could put potted plants in there. No problem. Succulents with yeah. rocks. You could put stones Great. and some succulents. You could even go, if you wanted to, some herbs. Whatever you love. You could put even um, some little cactus, I think, would be cute down there. Depending on where you live, for sure. Right, in right. The, in, the, in the style of your house. But a lot of times, like... I'm try Do you want to put a hole in, in the eaves of your house to hang a wind chime? Probably not. No. N not a great idea. So here you have the birdhouse. You could put your wind chimes. It's a whole little environment. It really is. It's the statement. It's the one thing that people are going to look at your yard and say, wow. And it would be even beautiful in the middle of a garden because, again, it's all about drawing the eyes up. That's what you want to do when you want to improve your curb appeal. Light, which you get with that beautiful flickering flame that looks so realistic. Technology is outstanding on this. And then you're also bringing color in whatever way you want to decorate it. Uh, this is just a piece that I want when you're after a long day of work, maybe a crazy commute, you set this near two stools or chairs you have some lemonade this summer and you are going to the feel hammock the hammock oh, oh my yeah. gosh now oh, you just yeah. took it up another level oh yeah but that it's one of those things that you're creating a little safe haven a we'll little see. respite what we're going to do right now is bring the lights down so you can see the impact uh, i love that we're talking about curb appeal and all that think about it once you sell the house you get to take this with you Yes, you never have to. You, it's not, not something you're installing yeah. and then the next no person. No PVC pipe to run a cord through or anything like that. It looks so charming. That it, it, I would like it even if it was just a plain bulb up there because it's such a cool item. But the fact that it is that yellow candlelight glow, that gas. It flickers and it just dances. The, yeah. the flames kind of dance. The, the, but I want to tell you something. We've only had, with solar lights, only in the last few years have we had even just that bright white that we've yes, had. Yes, right. This year, to have these flickering flames, and all day long, what's going to happen are there's four solar panels on top. They're going to soak in the rays of the sun all day long, and then there are rechargeable batteries that come already installed that will recharge day in and day out, and that is what's going to turn these on every single night without you even thinking of it or adding a penny to your electric bill. Autopilot. Right, autopilot. Set it, forget it. I've been watching Downton Abbey. I'm a little late to the party. But that staff that they have, oh my gosh, it's like having your own staff that goes and lights the, the, the yeah. light posts every night. You don't have to do that. This is having your own, exactly. It starts on by itself, and then you, when you come home at night and you pull into your driveway and you see those, it's just, it's a warm, welcoming piece to add to your yard. That's I love great. how she has it right by the stairs. You can even put these on both sides of the stairs. Both sides of your doorway would be another beautiful way. And But don't think that this is going to be something you're going to use now and put away come November or December. Minnesota, I know you right now are dealing with a snowstorm today. You could put this out today even in that snowstorm and enjoy it because it is made to withstand whatever Mother Nature puts throws at it. But uh, you, this this is where the magic happens too. I think we all look up at the beautiful flickering flame, but this nine gallon planter, it's 17 inches across, just to give you a little bit of an idea. That is where you get to put your own, your own ideas into play. You can create this. So even if you had a neighbor that bought one, they'd look totally different. To oh, totally. Now, how do I anchor this to the ground? Do I need to use a stake or anything like that? That's why we say the only thing you're doing, you're going to build it, and it took about 10 minutes. Okay. It was very, very simple. You just kind of thread these pieces up together, okay. and then we suggest that you put in some river rocks and stones. And again, that's going to do two things. It's going to hold it down and really keep it in place. Um, and then it's also going to create great drainage for anything that you plant in there. So you can still move it around easily too. I have mine filled with some river rock and then the flowers over it and I can still move it around my yard when I want to. I think this is something a lot of us thought we would never have at our house. 
right? Oh, right. Because it's like, oh, what a hassle. It's it's like a hotel, right? This is, what, and we love them at hotels and resorts. But at our house, unless it came like when we built the house or something like that, it's just not probably gonna be top priority because it's such a hassle. Now, there's no hassle. You can put them anywhere. Lori's in Pennsylvania. Hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. Hi, Cass. How are you doing? We're really well. Thank you so much. Tell me, what is it about this that you decided to go for it? Well, actually, I'm a little upset because I'm on an austerior plan, and I wasn't going to spend any money. But when I saw this on the air today, it just, light bulbs went off in my head. <laughs> I recently moved into a condo in the center of my city from a suburban house with a lovely yard and a back deck. And this is my second season learning how to container garden. Oh, so I right. did these things with a twinkly lights on the balcony, but there's just never been enough light when I sit out there to make it feel like it's its own room. And yes. I saw this, and that's what it's going to give me. Okay, that's a good investment, Lori. It is. That really, that's really is. That's a good is. investment. Uh, listen, Lori, you've given, a, I know, a lot of us different ideas. I love that. I wanted to say thank you for being a customer. This is Customer Appreciation Month at HSN, and because of that, this is just random, but surprise, you are what? going to win the welcome mat that we were talking about earlier in the hour in the black cherry color. What do you think oh about God. that? I think that's just awesome. But you know what? The things that I've purchased from you are like appreciation enough because I've always been satisfied. <sighs> Lori, that means the world to us. Thank you so much. I wanted much. to make one other um, note though. Yeah. I understand the river rocks for anchoring yes. and for drainage. Yeah. But I think what I'll do for myself is get one of those little square redwood trivets with the wheels. Hmm. Oh, to put it on so you I can move, move it. it away from the wall. I, I like can it. get back there and sweep. Very good idea. That's a really great idea. Really great idea. Good one, Lori. Anyway, thank you, guys. You look hey. beautiful. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Don't hang up, Lori, okay? We're going to take care of you. So I glad. I love how she so brought that up, too, because no matter us. what space you have, maybe you do live in a condo or you live in an apartment, if you are up and you have an outdoor space whatsoever, you will oh, yeah. get the sun that you need, and you're getting all of that beautiful color, and you can still enjoy this beautiful flickering flame and the long summer nights that are coming. They are coming. I promise. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> They're already here in Florida. Yes, they as are. As you may have just witnessed, um, with me spontaneously combusting outside. <laughs> but this is, this is where what Lori's point is so important. It makes an area look more important. It, may, it gives it a reason, right? It makes it look like on purpose, an outdoor area, an outdoor room, an extension of your home. Uh, certainly if you have a pool, garden, but like, like Lori's saying, if you only have a little teeny tiny space. It's perfect there Manhattan, too. I'm talking to you. If you're lucky enough to have a square foot of patio or porch <laughs> or, or balcony. In Manhattan, in right, Manhattan, right. Well, you're living large, I know. But it's just, it's some, the idea is you can put it pretty much everywhere. And I love that you can keep it out year-round. That's important it to me. It is important. Because when you have something like this, I don't want to put it away. I want to no. enjoy it come Christmas. Because really, think about that. What conjures up more of like the holiday feel than a flickering flame. Yeah. I mean, it just is stunning. And I love the fact that you do not have to hire an electrician. You don't have any unsightly cords. This doesn't need to be around any kind of an outlet. You can place this wherever you want to place this, wherever you, whatever area you, you want to stand out. If you are a renter, okay, great. Put yeah. it out there, put it out in the front yard. If you are trying to rent your house, right, put it out there. I mean, this is for curb appeal and it's also practical. I would, if you can, pull off, get two if you can, because once you get one, I think it's gonna be like, okay, now I know exactly where the other one should go. It's just one of those. I agree. One and plus, I just, I love balance. I love yeah. symmetry. Um, but at seven, over seven feet tall, this is over, that's new this year, over seven feet tall, it is a statement piece that will set your yard apart. And I love the fact that once you turn it on, that means every single night when that sun sets, it will automatically go on and stay on throughout the night. Quick question for you. Mm -hmm. In that little battery pack, do yes. you know the answer to this? You might not. Do you have to have a little plastic tab that to pull? Yeah, you just pull it right okay, out. Okay, so when you open mm -hmm. up the batteries or you're looking like oh pull little. the little plastic tab so that the battery makes contact and then you just turn you can see the button right here right up there it says on off once you turn that to the on that means every single night when that sun goes down it will automatically go on and you will see that beautiful flickering flame effect through these frosted panes lovely 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 easy, easy. really really easy that's the whole <laughs> thing about this is easy and impact ease
Love that part. Okay, <laughs> want to remind you about the three-tier planter that we now have 70 of. They're of. wonderful. It, it's a way to plant and still get all of that color in your yard up. Up. instead of out you can have it on a it's indoor outdoor weather resistant and it's got a beautiful embossed detail mm. so it really has kind of a stately feel to it as well i have my lanterns I up, say. my lamppost yep. up and then i have this to the side lovely together Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's also from Fieldsmith. Uh, that's the final quantity. We have, we're down to about 70 of those. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Always you. good to see thank you, my you friend. Too. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. We have Robin coming up next with Jackie Schechter. She's going to bring you a great couple of hours of slinky fashions. I've seen the lineup. Terrific. Great for travel, but every single day. And I hope you will indeed enjoy your new lamp post, everybody. Yes. Thank you so much. And also, if you want that spray and grow, I wouldn't wait, because when it's gone, it's gone. All right, thanks, everybody. So. Well, spring is in the air. I'm your host, Robin Wall, and I'm telling you from the 